hi guys it's bright and welcome back to my channel today we are back on my channel with another mod review and this one is for something that no one really uses and i think you guys will like this one so for this mod we are now testing out the doggy talents mod it's something that i found on the forge curse website so the link will be in the description box with this mod it's all about your dog and let me tell you you can get some really cute ones so i did play around with the mod just so i kind of knew what i was doing yes i have a fully leveled up dog just so i can show you guys everything that is in this mod i will also tell you guys how to level up your dog and feed it treats as well as showing you guys how to make some really cute collars and some really cute tunics so in my inventory I have all of the cute little things that we're going to need to use as well as a doggy charm which I will show you what we do with that in just a little bit but when you first enter here I have some dogs here and this one is the fully trained one so we can change the color of it but to use this mod also what you need is the little wolf spawn egg all you need is this you can train your dog using the regular minecraft dogs so i have two down here and i also have a one up here so for this one you actually don't even need to name your dog because we can do that once we have them fully trained which i will show you guys how to train them to train the dog all you need is a training treat to make the training treat you just need some string bone gunpowder sugar and wheat that'll give you the basic training treat to make a super treat you just need five regular training treats with a golden apple to make the master treat you need five golden super treats with one diamond and to make the dire treat you just need five master treats with some endstone so to train the dogs you just need to click them with this, they'll show hearts like when you first get them with the bone. So we're going to level this one up a few times. And then to check on your dog, you just need a regular Minecraft stick. So when you have this, you can actually name your dog. So this one I'm going to name Dan. You can have friendly fire, which means that it will attack you or friends. I have that set as false. Texture index, you can add a little bit of detail to your dog so you can change the colors of them. I'm gonna make this one a cute little pug and this one you can obey others so if they're really trained and you think that they're trained well enough you can have them obey others i'm gonna have that off just because it's me and now they know a few tricks so with these points you can have higher stuff so you can have them attack creepers more you can have a fishing dog you can have a doggy dash and make them run faster. You can make them better at, at things. We're gonna decorate our dogs. So you, you get all these cute little collars and outfits, sunglasses on them. You can put like sweaters on them. Oh, you can't really see that one. That was a bad idea. <laughs> You're mine now. Put this on. Look, he's wearing a wolf and he's a wolf. The nice little rainbow one. So now that they're all somewhat trained, we're gonna put on collars just so that they know that they're mine. We're gonna put on this nice rainbow one. He's a little emo. We're gonna put on this nice spotted one. And we're gonna put on this yellow one. And this one is a radar collar. So when you have this one attached to your dog, you can find them on the radar. It says that your dog is two blocks north. So if you have them sitting in your house and you're lost, you can use this to find them. I mean, most of us do remember where our dogs are, but if you don't, um, the radar can be for you. Or if you're trying to find someone else's dog that you left at someone else's house. So every time you want to click on them, you do need that stick. We will be naming all of them. This one can be Bob. This one will name Tim. And underneath it does say whose dog it is. See, so like if you right click, it says two bright lightning, Lily. To make the food bowl, you just need a bone with eight iron. And to make the water bowl, you just need a water bucket with eight iron again. So with this one, it also gave you a collar shear. So if you're tired of the collar color, 
you can change it just by right clicking it. Dan, I'm sorry, but you're gonna be naked. It also gave you a couple um, little toys so you can throw them. They will run after them when they're not sitting and they will get them and give them back to you. They will give it back in a drool formed though. So you have a stick and a throw bone. To make throw bone, you just need a slime ball with some bones. Once you have this, there is no durability, so when it's drooled, you can put it into the crafting table and it will come out as a regular one again. And that is the same with the sticks, so it's four sticks with a slime ball. If it's slimy or drooly, you can put it back into the crafting table and it will become undrooly. Yuck, no one likes a drooly toy. With this mod, you also get a command to stand whistle, so that'll make all of them stand. With this mod, you can also change the dog owners so if you have a shop or you're willing to sell them you can just use this and you can sell it to another player on the server when they get wet they also shake like this so to finish it off i think it's just fitting and suiting enough to show you guys what the breeds all look like so this is the brown wolf this is a gray wolf this is a german shepherd one i think think i think this is a lab and it's also kind of really cute this is a husky a pug oh maybe this is a boxer a wiener dog a brown lab a rottweiler i'm not even sure with this one okay now this is just out of hand a black and white dog a brown and black dog i think we're missing some textures that is all of the textures for the dogs as well <laughs> it's definitely missing some but i think that could also just be the game version i'm in who knows <laughs> so that is it for the doggy talents mod if you guys enjoy it don't forget to go and download it in the description box the links is right there so go click it but i hope you guys enjoyed this mod review if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up go check it out in the description box again it really will make me smile and let me know how you guys like this mod so don't forget to subscribe comment share and like and i will see you guys in the next video Bye!